I was putting together a card for Dishy Vintage and I thought I might just share the final bits with you. I'm just doing some clustering of my flowers and I've used the ladies diary paper. I've used Dishy Vintage lace down here and I've cut this Bordre Anglais lace in half and then layered some pearls that I had over the top. I've um, distressed, torn and cut these clocks out of one of the papers and then I've torn this paper here and torn this paper and layered it on top or um, underneath this die cut here. Okay, so now I'm going to start in this corner. So basically I'm going to add some cheesecloth that I sprayed with one of my pink sprays and just get the cheesecloth, the glue everywhere. And we want the cheesecloth sort of over the edge, but not terribly. Okay, and you can trim it off too if you think it's too much, and kind of just make it a bit wispy. I love making it wispy. I might just cut this corner off. Too much of. Cut this bit off. Penny. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is just layer this die cut that I've cut out. Actually, I'm wondering if this would go better. Actually, I might layer this instead. Okay, this is just some pearl bling I got at the local store called Spotlight here in Australia. It's kind of like your Hobby Lobby or Michael's over there, except it stocks mostly um, Kaiser Craft and things like that. Okay, kind of just going to have it over the edge. Okay, and then I'm going to add my stems. Got all my cheesecloth stuck. Okay, and just some more glue on our stems. Sorry if this video is a little long. I know you guys like to see this process, so. And I do change my mind along the process, so. We want it pretty high up. And then the same down the bottom. And I want it poking out. Okay. And then up here, I'm going to have this, so I'm going to make it a bit higher. And then we're going to have these lovely tulips here. So I'm kind of just going to stick it on in there. I'm actually not liking that. Okay, so we'll take them out again. Sorry guys. So it happens in the creative processes, I guess. happy with that now. Okay, now I'm going to start layering my flowers. I've got um, this one from Wild Orchid, Wild Orchid, and this one's from Wild Orchid, which I've sprayed with my homemade glimmer mist, which I'm going to have a tutorial coming up in the next couple days. Okay, I'm just going to stick this on down here. I'm going to stick another one down here. And I just kind of want to layer it all. Together. Give it some dimension. And this one I want to make a bit higher. Okay, we want that more on an angle. Now I want these. Flip it so the little pieces on the outside. And I'm kind of just fiddling with my flowers. I do this a lot in the process before I'm satisfied. Okay, now at the top, I'm going to add this one. 
and this one. See? And I like to kind of tilt it on its sides like this here. It actually creates more dimension on your project. Okay, and I've got buds here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take two different colours. And I think the brown might look a bit better. So I shorten that. Okay. And then I just add it in either side. I wonder if some cheesecloth up there would look any good. Yeah, I might just poke that under. Okay. With cheesecloth, you are going to have to fiddle a little bit until you get it away you like. And I have ruined tons of pieces of cheesecloth. Well, medical gauze. Um trying to make it lovely for my cards sorry I went off camera there okay again I'm just gonna cut it these are little buds that I get um, on eBay and you can search just type in buds and there's like a huge variety of buds on the net okay and I'm gonna poke that under okay all right now what we're going to do is, I might actually, I don't know, let's try that die cut again. Yep, I'm going to add that in there. This is Dynamics Leafy Flourish. It's a really nice die actually. And I've got a lot of use out of it. Any of these flourish dies, like believe me, if you get them, you will use them to death. Okay, and let's see if the other end. Sorry guys, I've made a big mess, haven't I? I am a clean freak. Okay. And I might shove that in there. Okay, this is the other end of it. Let's just lift it up and poke it on under. Actually, no, nope. we're going to put it on top of the cheesecloth. And then you just kind of got the cheesecloth wisping out the side. Love it. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some of the offcuts of the paper. So I keep all my offcuts in a bag. So I buy these um, Ziploc bags and I just shove them on in there. And, and I really like doing that because then I've got all my offcuts offhand and I can just grab them in a second and be done with it. Okay, I'm just going to use this off cut that I've got left. I'm going to poke that under the flowers too. Up here. Like I said, I like to fiddle. Okay. What else have I got up here in my bag of goodies? <laughs> I've got some leaves. They would go very well on this one. Don't know, let's see. I think that's a bit too much, okay. Alright, now I'm going to punch some butterflies using this paper. Okay, oh, yeah, that one's too big. Okay, so we're going to punch it at this one right here. The three butterfly punch that I always use. And and I might add that like there. Okay, let's start. Adding them here. Be sure to go check out Dishy Vintage's gorgeous laces. They have a ton of yummy laces. Okay, we just want it to kind of be floating off the page. Okay. Make sure I shove it in the corner. Yeah, a bit further down. Don't want it in the lady's head. 
Okay, and then I've got another little one that I might just stick. Ooh, I think it's a bit lost actually. I'm going to switch. Yep, that's better, isn't it? And I might just put the little butterfly up there on the lace on the side. Okay, I'm really liking that. And I'll just probably add some bling to it, and that's about it. So this is my card. I'm just going to quickly hold it up for you guys so you can see all the details. So I'll just add bling to the butterflies, and that's about it. The bling down the bottom, not the beaded trim. But the Bordeaux Anglais, which is this one here, and the one underneath is from Dishy Vintage. I'll leave the links below. They have some awesome laces, all vintage, um, and just absolute gorgeous. Um, and they real vintage smell. They smell vintage and everything, which I absolutely love. And the colour. Okay, I will talk to you later.